away. So let's have a go at doing these together. So, first example, I have got, um, let's have a feeling, what do we reckon this is going to be? Is it going to be negative? Negative. Um, yeah, looks like it's going to be negative because I've got three gas molecules becoming one. So that's not looking good. Let's have a look, we've got the values here. So it's going to be the energy of the products. The products is going to be, so delta S for the system is going to equal 304 minus, now I've got two NOs, so it's minus, and I'm going to put the brackets, 2 times 211 plus oxygen, which is 205. So I've got 304. What do we reckon that's going to? Because if we work out the brackets, it's going to be 422 plus 205. Minus 627. Minus 627. Fabulous. So it then becomes 304 minus 627, which gives me minus 323 joules per mole per Kelvin. As expected, minus figure. That's a relief. Let's have a look at the next one. Delta S system for this one. Slightly more difficult. So I've got water, so it's 3 times 70 plus 6 times 240, which is my product minus benzene, which is 173, plus 7.502s. 7.5 times by 205. Uh, so let's have a look. Has anybody worked out those brackets at all? That's 1494 minus 1714.5. Minus what? 1714.5. 1494.5. Okay, cool. Thank you very much. So let's see if we all get the same answer. One four nine four minus one seven one zero point five comes to minus two hundred and sixty point five joules per mole per kelvin. Is that what we'd expect it to be? Yes. Uh, yeah, because I've got seven. I've got seven and a half gas becoming six. Good. We're happy.